Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing great. I have a 30 minute session I'm doing for a client and it's a uh, baby related. So we're gonna see, the, the goals here are seeing if the implantation worked and learning more about the spirit of my future child. That is so, I am so excited right now to do this session for you. Thank you so much for being open-minded and willing to share. I think a lot of us are gonna really enjoy this experience. Okay, I'm gonna relax now. I'm gonna get tuned in here. So this would be like, a, like an IVF pregnancy. This would be like a, a process medical process. All right, I'm just relaxing here. I'm getting sleepy in a beautiful way, okay? So I'm just gonna continue to relax and let this energy just take me where it wants to go. It's just, a, it's like a peachish, orangish hue right now. It's soft and delicate and velvety. It's right now, it's like it's a dream, a materializing dream is what it's like. But it's a really good dream. So for me to describe this experience, imagine if, just hear me out, okay? Imagine you're a, a, a baby in heaven, okay? And you're having a dream of, of a mother on earth, okay? Now you're being materialized into the dream of the mother and the father and and all this dream now is becoming a part of you and you are a part of it. There's something in the process of the dream and then the reality. And this right here feels so soft, so angelic and peaceful, so simple and happy. It's not super loud and in your face. It's very gentle. They aren't saying whether or not you're pregnant. They're showing me, though, there's the spirit that is dreaming of you, okay? Which is really sweet. There's a really good connection here between this spirit dreamer and your physical body, okay? <laughs> It's actually making me feel really excited right now. <laughs> okay, we gotta calm down, calm down. The reason why it's a little complicated for me to explain this next experience is because, again, we're kind of in two realms. Uh, what is like a spirit realm, which is also a reality, and then a physical reality which in a weird way is the dream of the spirit realm, you know? <laughs> but they're two realms and they're intersecting. They're intersecting. And it's feeling more and more real. The spirit in the physical is feeling more and more real, more and more connected. I am gonna tell you what, this spirit knows you big time big time. And it is not hard for the spirit to know how to sort of manifest as your baby. I mean, there's no complicated uh, concerns here or issues at all. It's like it's been there, done that with you before. <laughs> it knows you. Super knows you. It knows your body as well. It knows your design. It knows your DNA. It knows your structure. It knows your emotions. It knows your vulnerabilities. It knows everything about you the spirit does. It loves the living daylights out of you. Keeps showing me really quick, like, uh, I know we were just in this dream state, but it's getting really fast here. And the spirit is just like super giddy and like jumping up and down. And it's almost like um, if you push fast forward really fast and then the normal voice starts to turn into a chipmunk, that's like super fast what it's like right now. And, and this voice is like, um, uh, like quickly showing me that, um, I know, I know her body. I know how to do this. I know how to get in there. I know how to like be a baby. I know how to do this. Like quickly showing me like so fast. It's just, <laughs> it's really fun actually. It's like, it's funny and fun and exciting. Hmm. All right, I gotta, I gotta come back to myself here for a moment and re, 
<sighs> establish my my balance. Okay. All right, let's see what the next thing is here. All right, she's telling me it feels very feminine. This the spirit energy feels very feminine and she's telling me Okay, hold on. That she wants me to look at your physical body because there seems to be there's something of value here for me to look at in order to ignite some energies for you, okay? For your physical body and the pregnancy process. Because she shows me it and what it looks like is, here. here's a circle and this is like your uterus, okay? <laughs> it's like this feminine space. And then there's just this gray area over here. So she keeps pointing at it and saying this, I need, I want you to add some light or energy into this. So, I'm going in. All right, this gray area is your doubts. Your doubts. Your doubts. That's what this gray area is and and I can feel them. I mean, I get it. Like um, don't get your hopes up, right? It's kind of like that. But there's more in these doubts because there's there's like strings attached kind of holding you down or holding you back. It's like we need to heal this, okay? And what it looks like, the more I go into this, is like just like gray particles. It's literally what it looks like with a red background. <laughs> That's what it looks like. So I'm going through this cloud. You have a very loud part of yourself that says this isn't going to work. I don't know why, it, it just hear me out here, it's gonna come out a little bit harsh, but this is how strong it is. And I see a woman in a kitchen and she's had a bad day. She has a really big butcher knife and she's just hacking it down and cutting, you know, these ingredients, like she's cutting a head off kind of thing. Like it's really intense. I mean, she's putting all of her anger and aggression into cutting things and it's meat particularly meat. She's just hacking it, not cutting it delicately, but like hacking it like that. And it's aggressive. It's angry. It's disappointment. It's, and it's all rolled up into doubt. Because doubt hurts. Doubt is what is born from hurt, so to speak. Like, if you've been hurt before, if you've had reason to doubt this process before, what's to say you don't have a reason to doubt it now, right? So, there's some old stuff going on here that is fueling the doubt. And the doubt is very loud, and it's very sharp. Your little baby spirit, she's just like clapping right now. She's not bothered. Like, she's like, yeah, yeah, send light into it. Like, clapping really, really fast right now. It's really happy. <laughs> so, this spirit is sent to you to heal you. And her energy power <laughs> is that healing you is is not it's like an instinctive nature it, it doesn't even take any thought any effort at all it just happens naturally her energy just naturally heals you without her having to even try and she knows this and now this is her first act of healing you And she's so proud of herself. She's very much like a, a kid that just got their first gold star. And she's like, oh, I just, I'm healing you. I'm healing you for the first time. <laughs> so she's like this right now. She's just like, her eyes are just full of stars and excitement and just so proud of herself. Okay, now I have to focus some more on this. The energy is got more to it than just doubt, okay? 
Yeah, because doubt is in the way here and it's it's a block. So we want this to be a really joyful and freeing experience. No reason for concern, okay? It's not just gray like a cloud. It doesn't just have this sharp energy and it. it has something else that's more structured. Like a wall that's been put up and it would be very hard to knock this wall down. So I'm just standing here and I'm choosing patience and sending lots of love into this. You carry a lot of disappointments here in your divine feminine space. This is disappointments that have nothing to do with pregnancy. This, are, this is life disappointments. Different times in your life, feeling let down even feeling let down in yourself too. And you built a, a wall, like a structure, an anticipation for letdowns. So she, this little baby spirit, is wanting you to stop feeling that way. Stop feeling like you are a letdown. Stop feeling like this process is going to let you down. Stop doing that for me, you know, <laughs> but she doesn't put in the words for me. She just says stop doing that and then I just see her clapping like so happy. It's like do it for her. Come on. You, you can't say no to that. <laughs> She's so cheerful. She's like it's like a super fast energy like a chipmunk fast like and when she talks it's really it makes me laugh. I mean, she's really makes me laugh and feel really happy inside. She gets your attention in a joyful way. And she loves, she likes making people happy too. That's very obvious. She loves gold stars. So it's like, if she does, when she sees that being herself makes people happy or being herself heals people, that is her spice of life. That is her drive in life. And when she does that, she gives her, it's like, yes, another gold star, another gold star, another gold star. So she, her drive in life is to bring joy to people. It's, it seems to be her natural soul frequency. It's not like, um, mathematical or scientific, um, it's got a lot of personality, um, and it, even if it's not saying anything at all, the, the personality is saying nothing, you just feel warm being around her because she has a charisma, and she doesn't have to do anything really for people to feel that charisma. So her life purpose has a lot to do with entertaining in a way. But it, her charisma is felt. And she inspires other people to be like her, actually. To want to aspire to having that charisma, too. And that energy and that passion for life. Alright, we're returning here to this area. The gray area is thinning out, but it, you could say that it's just can it's getting attached to itself more. So instead of it's just like um, like a cloud, it's like the cloud condenses and becomes. It looks like gray ketchup is what it looks like, and then there's a weird wall. It's like a brick wall, a small one, and so these are kind of together right now. I'm going to bring your consciousness in here with us. So you're going to be inside your own divine feminine space here. We kind of we kind of don't want to look at it. You don't want to admit it. You don't want to acknowledge it. Because that means you're lacking in some way that you're disappointing your unborn child <laughs> you're kind of like that she 
she's got wisdom as well and she she's transforming this she likes to consider it gray toothpaste and then it's like a weird brick wall that has moss growing through the it as well so it looks old she transforms this into a doorway or pathway so she can walk with you through it she's gonna walk through this with you she's going to help you through your own letdowns and disappointments Everything's getting very uh, calm and quiet right now because there's an afterthought of what this message means and that you, you'll you carry these. We all carry this stuff. But that's one lesson that um, she wants to work on with you, helping you with this, which could also become her own lesson, which is interesting. Because life challenges us, right? <sighs> Everything feels very positive, I will say. Very, very positive. She's got uh, some ideas on how to help you with this, these vulnerabilities. I had anticipated that we would see more into this once she transformed it into a doorway but I'm not seeing any more about it right now but I'm open to it if it's meant to be shown or to see something new hmm. she shows me herself as a child like four or five years old and it's like she's working on a puzzle She's getting frustrated with this puzzle. And uh, she's not going to give up. She's going to figure this out. Even if it takes her all day. She's very electric. She's very, um, has a lot of energy. She's very using that energy, like in everything that she does. And that energy is fuel as well. It can create quite a, um, a loud sound if she wants it to but this is admirable to a parent to see their child not giving up on a problem and continuing to work through it even if it's like a toy or a game um, and not wanting you to help them wanting that to figure it out for themselves I'm shown this about her she she wants to solve her problems. She likes to put her energy into doing this. She's she's going to be very energetic. It just seems like she's born with energy, lots and lots of energy. Some people are more relaxed and laid back. She is she could very well be on the track team. I mean, she's very energetic. All right, something is shifting here. I'm going to see some new information. Okay, this feels like in the distance, and it's returning to the experience of the dreamer, the spirit dreaming of the mother kind of thing. And it's peachish and reddish colors right now. Hmm, she's thinking about this uh, emotion of doubt. She's contemplating it. She will either, this is, you're supposed to know this, otherwise they wouldn't have me say it, but she's either going to learn how, this is before she's even born, she's either going to learn how to face doubt as in stand up against it with courage and strength or succumb to it so she could then doubt herself in her life and be born with it and you inspired it okay don't feel bad 
<laughs> but they're showing me this. But that becomes her lesson as well. And that's what you work through. You work through these things in life. And she's at peace with this, totally. Like, she knows. She knows what this world is like. And she's at peace with it. She's a problem solver. But I see right now that this is a part of her own process of growth and development within you. You have the freedom to just trust in this process. And that now is teaching her a lesson that she can trust in her own processes too. So this is giving you an opportunity to shift your own energy and then to give her a gift of a shift in her energy. It's something to think about. I will say that loud, sharp noise is considerably reduced, like almost disappeared. Because on the other side of that is you don't want to feel that way. You just kind of feel that way. And that's kind of being human, right? It's super normal to feel that way. But a lot of that has uh, is relaxing. It's not as loud or as sharp. Nowhere near. It's almost fully dissipi dis dissipate dissipated, <laughs> disappeared. Let's just say disappeared. And um, that part of your consciousness that I brought in here that was a bit um, embarrassed about about this. I guess your own shortcomings. <sighs> We're seeing this you again as the doubt is starting to disappear here. And you're asking me how you can become a sh stronger for her. And uh, she's kind of like a more material, physical than spirit in the scene. Like she's the beginning of the cells turning into more cells. But for some reason, those cells have brains and they, they're they part of this conversation right now. It's incredible. It's really incredible. And she, she just loves you for even caring, for even thinking about it. It makes her feel bright because she's getting another gold star. She inspired you to love yourself more she's a winner she's like i won again <laughs> she's a winner she's very passionate and driven and she is a winner type personality like she's going to win and she loves it when she is successful like when she did her job which is making people happy and healing people just by her being her she does it So again, how can you be stronger or, I mean, I feel, I feel your energy totally shift and get very relaxed right now. So it's hard to even come back to that question. Just give me a moment. I'm just going to let this process through. It's very, very sleepy feeling. Like I could take a nap. I'm just gonna wait because it's getting very, 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 very sleepy. And there's nothing I can do to override that. So I just have to wait. It just needs to be this way right now. Okay, I start to see the consciousness of the spirit within the multiplying cells return to what could be like a heaven, a baby dreamer in heaven. And I experience you being more in tune with your own body and your own self. And that sleepy energy is just sort of a transition of her spirit returning to the sleeping baby and your spirit going back to your consciousness where I sort of took a part of it and brought it into yourself 
you've, you've reflected on it all that you need right now. That conversation is complete just from what we've discussed and seen and looked at. So I feel you becoming you again. And I feel her spirit going back to baby sleep. <laughs> That's what it's like. This is very interesting. This next scene, you are sitting at a desk and you're writing with pen and paper. And you're really thinking and you're writing. And I see her mind start to... It's like her spirit comes into your mind and it, it inspires you to write a message that she actually has to share with you. It's like you have a psychic channeling and you, you feel like connecting with their spirit and you have a pen and paper and you just start writing what, what you feel like her spirit would have to say to you. And she comes and she merges with your mind in order to um, help you write this. It's like a letter. It's like she wants to write you a letter um, to tell you something. But you would have to sit down with a pen and paper and allow that experience to happen. It's like she wants to help you see that you are connected to the spirit realm and that you can connect with her today. You don't need a, like, I'm in the middle. I'm just kind of sharing the message. Okay, this is what she's saying. All right, this is what your energy feels like. <laughs> but now you are the medium, right? That is receiving the message. Um, it's coming directly to you and through you. You're making a direct connection with her. And this is a bonding time. Very interesting. It's bonding time. And even if this is just multiplying cells you wouldn't you wouldn't believe how absolutely tuned into your frequency these cells are they're absorbing all kinds of information they're like brains they have brains inside there somehow some way they are alive with mind feel like I was supposed to say something more about this, but I, I, my mind is trailing off again. I, I just feel like this, all I can describe it is a holding time, like feeling held. And there's no thought and there's no feeling. It's just pure peace. And it's like wrapped up in a little bundle and just having the most beautiful sleep. And this is a bonding moment too. It's almost like... How would I even put this? You visiting her, not just her visiting you. This is a real experience that you have. I don't know if it's consciously real or happening in a dream state for you. There, my, my mind is doing that thing again. It just feels like like it's hard for me to tune into this conversation because of this bonding energy is so powerful. There's nothing else to say, nothing else to think about. And maybe that's a sign that this is all I'm meant to share for right now. I'm just going to step out of your energy field and then let's see if there's just anything else, okay? She shows me... Um, it's kind of a yin-yang symbol, but it looks like two flowers. And she holds you, and you hold her simultaneously. And um, it's really beautiful. And it feels beautiful. It feels like mother and baby, baby and mother. And it's like this inseparable bond. It's like true love. It's true love. You're about to have the most beautiful gift in your life. And you're ready to learn more about true love. And that's what she's going to bring into your life. The experience of true love. And she's going to help you to love yourself as well. It's, it's really beautiful. It's all like, I mean, 
it's like the perfect purest most gorgeous water you could ever look at i mean it's just like it's so it's like this exceptionally beautiful view it's more beautiful than even that it's just it's flawless all right that's what i have to share this was such a beautiful gift thank you so much for this experience I feel so moved right now. Hmm. All right, thank you. And for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay, everybody, I thank you for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.